Now this is a Carrera Vulcan electric bike. Carrera Vulcan electric bike, they also do a Carrera Crossfire. Um, all these Carrera electric bikes use the SR Suntour HESC system. My personal opinion, Suntour can't make suspension forks. So how the heck they thought they was going to do an electric bike system is kind of beyond me, but yeah. Um, so yeah, Suntour products, what, nah, not a fan, really not a fan. Um, had a lot of their suspension forks, including the Adons, Ep Epicons, Radions, and various other ones, and they are all pretty naff, to be totally honest, even compared to like low-end RockShock. But um, this is diabolically bad. So what we have here is an optical crank sensor. Um, so inside here you have... Okay, let's just talk about the basics first. So here's your sensor. This is a new sensor that I've just bought because the old one on here was broken. And I found out why it's broken. Um, so this disc has, you know, has to sit relatively stationary. You don't want it to rip the wire out of our speed controller down here, which is all potted in epoxy. Um, that would be bad. So the crank has to move, but this disc has to stay stationary. There's a bearing here and obviously a bottom bracket bearing. So you've added losses, when you're pedalling you have added losses here through this bearing as this disc rotates on or should, or this crank rotates through to keep this disc stationary. Now what happens is this bearing gets you know more worn out and eventually you're going to need to replace the crank set. Before that happens it ends up picking up this disc which is only held by the wire, that's the only thing stopping this is the wire, there is nothing else and then it rips the wire out of this speed controller. That's a brilliant design. Oh my god. Like, what on earth were they thinking? I mean, that's just... That's just terrible. You know, I mean, yeah, it's supposed to sit on this thing, but this is actually the system by which it's supposed to sit on. There is something it is supposed to sit on. But, no, it's a little bit of plastic. That's it. It's held by the wire. Right, so it's held by the wire and this little piece of plastic. This piece of plastic here, it sits in between. It's apparent now. Okay, so I missed that before. But it sits in between there and there. These little plastic lugs are the only thing stopping this sensor being ripped out of the controller. And when this bearing in here fails, which it will, because this is where all the mud and all the crud and all the nastiness goes, Think how many times you have to replace a bottom bracket on a man bike. It's quite a regular thing. It's an unavoidable thing. But most of the time it's fairly easy and pain free. But no, now we have another part of the system that can fail. Not only that, inside of this crank, I don't know if you can see that, is those aluminium, these uh, stainless steel perforations. That's not going to pick mud or anything up at all, is it? There's no way of mud or stones or anything getting inside of here and totally annihilating the inside part of that sensor. As well as bending all of these, then you need to buy a whole new crank assembly, um, which for this isn't cheap. <laughs> About £175 from uh, looking online is what they want for one of these. So, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Um, Carrera, you know, Vulcan electric bike. I really don't recommend you buy one of these new or even used unless you're a hobbyist and you want a, and you want a challenge, basically. Um, now, it shouldn't be that hard to repair, but... Yeah, what a... why? Why overcomplicate something so simple? Nobody else uses this idea at all. Right, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.